Hi everyone, welcome to my show, Best Bites Forever. I'm Chef Alicia. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to make something that is like really fun and really cute and kind of crafty. So this is my cute little bunny jar that I made and it's got little bunny feet prints on it and little bunny and little carrots on the side. So I'm going to show you how to make this jar and I'm also going to show you how to make what's in it, which is kind of like puppy chow. I'm sure most of you have probably had puppy chow, but, or, um, Muddy Buddy, it's also called. So I kind of did a little twist on it and I made, I call it Bunny Chow. So it's really, really super cute. I don't know if you can see it really good, but there it is. It's kind of like a little twist on that. So it's gonna be really cute for Easter. We're gonna put it in these really cute little jars and it's going to be fun. Okay, so let's get started. I'm starting off here with a nice clean jar and I'm going to use some window clings to kind of give me the shape of my bunny and my bunny feet and my little carrots. So this is going to be the bunny's face and I've just removed the details of the eyes and the cheeks although I am going to decide to put the cheeks back in here in a minute and just leave the eyes. And then I also removed the details in the ears and put those on and now I'm adding the carrots onto my little jar and on the other side I'm going to do the little bunny feet prints and I just kind of took out the little toes and the little foot pads so that the paint would show there. So once you get that on, this is the type of paint that I'm using and it's pretty slow to dry. You can pick it up at any craft store and probably Walmart or anywhere like that too. And I think that it's a latex or an acrylic paint, but you can see the jar. So anyway, then I'm just going to use a sponge brush and kind of dab over all of those window clings to give me, again, just a nice little outline because they're not going to be as perfect as a sticker, but that's okay because this type of paint, you can go back over it. See, here I am with a Q-tip and just kind of wipe along the edges. As long as the paint is wet, it's really, really easy to remove. And if you need to, you can put just a teeny little bit of water on the Q-tip, like barely, barely get it wet and it'll take that paint right off as long as it's not dry. Again, go back over with your sponge brush and just kind of dab over those little details. So here I'm doing my little bunny feet and I'm just using a Q-tip to straighten out those lines. Again, the window clings don't give you like a perfect, perfect outline, but they do give you something to kind of go by and go back over and clean up, which is easier for me because like I said, I can never get those silly stickers back off. So here I am going over the details with a Q-tip and I'm almost done. So I'm just going to set this over to the side and let it dry while I make the delicious bunny chow that's going to go inside. I'm starting off with two tablespoons of butter in my pot and I'm going to add to that a half of a cup of chocolate chips. Whoa! Did you see my chocolate chips go flying? They went flying. So a half a cup of chocolate chips and a quarter cup of peanut butter is going to go in there. And I have my heat on number two, so my stove goes up to 10. So I have this on a really, really low heat and I'm going to use my spatula to make sure that I keep moving everything off of the bottom because the chocolate can burn pretty easily. So I'm gonna do this until it's nice and smooth and then added my vanilla. I used somewhere between a half of a teaspoon and a teaspoon. I didn't actually measure it, but you know, ish, and stir that in, and then add in your cereal, which I used about four and a half cups of cereal, and I'm using wheat checks, which are delicious in this, and the next thing that I'm going to do is once I get my cereal really well coated, I'm going to add it into this gallon baggie, which has a cup of powdered sugar in it, and this works easier if you have a buddy helping you out, so I have my daughter holding the bag open and then we're just going to shake it, shake it, shake it to get it nice and coated in that powdered sugar. And once you have it coated, it needs to go onto a sheet pan lined with wax paper, or parchment paper, or silk pad, or whatever it is that you have, and just pour it out and then spread it evenly so that it cools. And once you get your mixture cool, you're ready to add the stuff that's going to make it the bunny mix instead of, you know, puppy chow, which if you've ever made puppy chow, you've made this recipe. You can totally get this recipe on like um, checks.com or whatever it is. But I'm adding in the little sprinkles and the mini marshmallows marshmallows which I will be calling bunny tails when I show my kids and the colored M&Ms the little Easter M&Ms and I'm just gonna stir those all together and once I get all nice and mixed up they are ready to add into my jar 
So just very carefully transfer these from your sheet pan into your jar and this is what it looks like and then I'm going to put my lid onto the jar which is just kind of like a mason jar or whatever although it's not the mason jar brand it's the same thing. So I put my lid on and then I'm using raffia which I got at the craft store just to kind of give it that little fun homemade eastery kind of look and I'm just going to tie that in a cute little knot around the edges and there it is all finished. Enjoy! For more delicious recipes, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there. You can also check out bestbitesforever.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone.